A young girl named Viola is sucked into a magical world while trying to practice on her recently passed mother's old violin. To get back home, she'll need to travel across the world and get to know an entire cast of diverse and interesting characters, each with their own problems to solve and lessons to learn. I feel like I need to give Viola two separate reviews, one for the writing and one for the gameplay. The story is excellent. During her journey, Viola learns about believing in yourself, not giving up, and also about coping with death and loss. It addresses issues around identity, including gender, sexuality, and ethnicity, and how different types of people are perceived by the rest of the world. We meet a beautiful variety of characters, including transgender, disabled, queer, and nonverbal representation, and all of it is positive. The story progresses largely through cutscenes that take place around the campfire. At these points, you regain your HP and MP and save your game, and you have the chance for a one-on-one -on -one conversation with some of the characters. The better you get to know them, the more of their power unlocks, and the game's happy ending can only be unlocked if you've reached the maximum level of friendship with all of them. I found this a little annoying, since there are three endings, and each time you complete the final part of the game, you have to sit through mostly identical cutscenes and credits. But the story as a whole is just wonderful and worth playing. On the other hand, mechanically speaking, I was a lot less satisfied. When I first looked at the game's trailer and saw the timed button presses during combat, I got the impression that it was a rhythm game. However, while music is thematically very important to the story, it's not actually relevant to the mechanics. The timed button presses are not tied to the music in any way. Instead, they function more like quick time events. When you attack, a random series of buttons appears on the screen and you have to press them quickly. For magical spells, you might also have to hold down or mash a button. The pattern is different for each spell, and while some of them are easy, some of them are incredibly difficult. And the difficulty doesn't seem to be related to how powerful the spell is. I was never even able to cast one character's very first spell because it was just too fast. I don't even know exactly what it does. The magic system also follows a rock-paper-scissors model of strengths and weaknesses, but unfortunately the system's a little too opaque. You can't tell what type a given enemy is without trial and error, and most of the time it's just not worth it. I found myself using mostly physical combat characters and avoiding magic altogether. It was just easier. Although the quick time combat style has some accessibility issues, the game does at least provide a way around that. You can select the story game mode to switch off the timed combat entirely. However, while this simplifies combat to a standard JRPG model, it doesn't impact the platforming. This aspect of the game isn't horrible, but it's also not especially fun or intuitive. Like in most platformers, you can jump and wall jump, but there's a unique mechanic in Viola that is referred to as double and triple jumping, which functions quite differently from how you might expect. Instead of jumping once, then again in the air, you jump, land, and then immediately jump again. The second jump goes higher, and the third higher still. A lot of the platforming sections require you to triple jump to reach higher platforms, which is frankly just tedious. It takes longer than traditional multi-jumps in the air, you can mess up your timing and have to start over really easily, and there just doesn't seem to be any reason for it. I really could have done without this mechanic entirely. Finally, there's one other issue with the game which kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. It's a little meta, actually. It's not to do with the game itself, but with how it interacts with Steam. As you play through the game, you can unlock Steam achievements, and I actually got to 100% achievements while preparing for this review. However, I then needed to start the game over to get a little footage from the beginning of the game. Viola only has one save file, a bit of an annoyance, to be honest, not to have multiple save slots, and to start over, you must delete it. Still, it's not that big a deal. Or so I thought. But when I closed the game and looked at my Steam library, I saw this. It took me a minute to parse this. When you delete your save game, the game deletes all of your Steam achievements. To be clear, this is not normal behavior for a Steam game. There might be an in-game achievement system which resets when you delete your save, but once you've earned a Steam achievement, it's meant to be permanent. I honestly didn't even know it was possible for a game to delete your Steam achievements once they were unlocked. In all the years I've been playing games on Steam, I have never seen this happen before. Honestly, I was livid. The game has a nice story, but it doesn't have any real replay value, and it's not like I'm about to play through another 6 hours just to get back to 100%. Those achievements are just... gone now. I left a message on the game's discussion board asking what had happened and why they'd done this, but I never got any response. 
So I guess if you play the game, make sure you never delete your save, because they'll take your Steam achievements away too. All that said, the story and characters really are lovely. A lot of the time I see games focused entirely on mechanics, and it's nice to see one that is primarily focused on its writing. On the other hand, the mechanical side of the game could have been a lot better, and the deletion of Steam achievements is just baffling. Should you get Viola? If you care more about story and characters than mechanics, then yes, the writing is really excellent. If you want engaging combat and platforming and don't care quite so much about the story, you might want to skip this one. Whether Viola is your cup of tea or not, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll have more indie game reviews for you soon. And if you'd like to support me, get your name in the credits and more, check out patreon.com slash secretfoxfire. I have lots of rewards, starting at just $1. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.